everybody my name is Analytical Plum and welcome back to my channel. The day has finally arrived. We are finally reacting to the final episode of Percy Jackson. Do you know what I'm going to applaud anybody who has watched the whole series with me. You are a real one and if you haven't then I definitely recommend you go check out my other episodes. They are all in a playlist for you so you don't have to you know look for yourself for the lazy people out there you're welcome <laughs> there's not much more to say honestly apart from if you are new to this channel i would appreciate if you would consider subscribing i do post twice a week but don't hold me to that and if you have been loving these percy jackson reactions then i would appreciate if you would like this video and apart from that let's get straight into watching the final episode look you didn't ask to be a half-blood, but you are one. I did not expect Luke to repeat the opening. I'm not saying nothing. That makes you part of something bigger than yourself. <laughs> oh, yay! Which is good, because you clearly can't handle this on your own. I was wondering if we were going to see a bit more of life in camp before the quest, because there was quite a lot in the books. I was very excited to see them do it, but they didn't. But now they kind of are. It's going to be... Let's work on that diss song. Look, I appreciate you taking the time. But you're weak and want to quit? No. Just, when am I ever going to use this stuff? They'll come for me. I know. They have. Fury tried to claw me. The Minotaur tried to skewer me. And I don't think a diss arm or a high guard or uh, repost would do any... Uh, uh, Oh, he got absolutely wrecked. A minotaur horn will not save you in this moment. <laughs> you can't rely on it, Percy. Point is, they don't fight fair. It's not like there are rules. Of course there are rules. See, that's what warfare is. Knowing the rules. So you can use them against your opponent. Oh, look at Luke being a great big brother figure. Oh. Single combat. Why does he always put himself in these situations? There have been many times where he's put himself in a situation where he's going to go straight to the underworld. You know, this is one of them. He's a very bold person. Maybe that's what I need to take from this series. <laughs> Seems to work out for him. What? 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 One on one. But I set the terms. If I draw first blood, I keep the bolt and you surrender the helm. Technically, he didn't specify whose blood. If you, if you just turned around and pricked your finger with, you know, your, your sword, does that count? There was nothing in the rules to say it didn't count. <laughs> I mean, it's your funeral, kid. Although, just to be clear, no funeral. Any trace of you leaves a trace of my plan, and we can't have that. It wasn't your plan, though, was it? It was Kronos. Oh. It was his idea to frame Poseidon's kid. To steal Hades' helm and Zeus's bolt to start a war. What? Oh yeah, she was not there for any of the revelations. I feel so bad for Eleanor. She's probably so confused right now. But that's how I tend to feel on a daily basis, if I'm honest. Gods don't dream, little man. And no one tells the god of war how to start a fight. I know I'm talking a lot, but like, I have something very important to say. I'm definitely not a god, right? My dreams are very, very vivid pretty much every single night. I could write a whole book on my random dreams. Like, for instance, last night I had a dream that I went to prom and there was a bunch of zombies, like it was in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. I did just watch a zombie Markiplier video, though, before I went to sleep, so that probably had some influence. But I don't know where the whole prom thing came into it. <laughs> After you die, if say hi to your mommy for me. He just flung him around like he was a little packet of jelly beans. Oh my god. As long as he doesn't get eaten like a jelly baby, he should all be fine. <laughs> it's your mistake being next to the water. I warned you. You're not careful. I'll find out. Oh, yeah. He's probably never want to go to a source of water again after that. 
Nowhere near baths, nowhere near oceans, nowhere near a pool, never again. <laughs> Aries just got owned by a 12 year old. Yay! That was so cool. <laughs> Wanna know what you really want today? An enemy for life. I mean, there's nothing new. You know, join the queue. Don't look at his true form! After all that work and he just leaves his shield again. What was the point? It's Hades' home. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm obviously blind. Sally can't be back, can she? Because they technically haven't given the helm over yet. Mom? Just watched the Doctor Who episode about that. Very interesting, isn't it? Using earthquakes to clear the skies. That's not Sally. Sidon grows bold in his war against his king. Hades sent you to retrieve it. That's been your quest all along. Looks like those old submarine hats. Good luck on Olympus. Yeah, to be fair, we're all gonna need it. Even Perhaps me. Perhaps there will still be a world left for your mother to return to. Dude. No. I have to. What for? The quest failed. We missed the deadline. This is bigger than the quest. Chiron told me the last war on Olympus kicked off World War II down here. We have to get Zeus to call it off. Returning the bolt is the only way I can get his attention. That's... Pretty fair, I'm not gonna lie. I would probably do the same. I mean, I think it would probably make things worse because he actually does have the bolt now. Did you see how frightened Hades was about the idea of Kronos coming back? <laughs> Zeus has to know. Bringing him the bolts might be enough to get him to listen. You two gotta go to camp. Now that we know who Ares and Clarice were working for, someone has to warn Kyra. He'll kill you. Yes, Either because fine. he thinks you stole the bolt, or because you're a forbidden kid. Zeus will never let you leave Olympus alive. I'm done running from monsters. This is too important. Oh, she's giving him her necklace. They are so cute. Gonna need all the luck you can get. Just for clarity, how sure are we you can just explain everything in an email? That email would probably take 10 to 20 business years to get back to you. I don't think that would be very efficient. <laughs> Tour starts by the sign. I'm here for the tour. See, he's actually there to see Buddy the Elf. They'll probably run into each other at some point. I'm calling it. Not really, but you know, in my head. I'm here to see Zeus. I don't have an appointment. The gods are all powerful, but they have to play by the rules. Yes. And they create demigods so we can break the rules for them. Yes. But if we can break rules and they can't, shouldn't they be just as afraid of us as we are of them? Hell yes. Of course. See, this is why I should be a demigod, because I'm I'm so frightening. Annabeth is terrified of spiders. Okay. But she's a lot bigger than they are. Oh, I wondered if they were going to bring that up. It's, it's going to be a lot of this. I'm so sorry. But in the, the full of the love bride you know when they went to Hermetitis's place instead of actually going fully on that ride they actually got attacked by like mechanical little spider things and it was horrendous one of the things i'm so glad they changed purely for my benefit but i wondered if they were ever going to bring that up because Annabeth was terrified of those understandably so it is the little things that make me happy so what do you think happens when she comes across one Two things you never want to be are small and scary at the same time. Things that are small and scary get squished. Well, that's nice leading into Olympus, isn't it? <laughs> this looks amazing. Yeah, stop tracking up that. I'll catch an air rover or something. Hello, Zeusy. Might I say you're looking dashing today? Will that make you smite me less? I didn't steal it. Neither did any of my friends. We tried to get it to you on time. You failed. I... I bait, I tried. Yes, I did. But I had to come. I had to tell you who did steal it. It was Kronos. I don't like the fact that he's not talking. He needs to he's talk. He's behind all of it. He's making he's me nervous. He's emerging from Tartarus. You may go. But... I know where Kronos is. I put him there. 
Okay. I know who goes eat. I am his son. Of course he's gathering strength. Of course he's coming. That is what we do. We snap and plot and stride. It was only a matter of time before he did again. Thank you for the news. It is the only reason I'm letting you leave alive. Uh, I have a war to thanks? prosecute now. So when I say you may go, it means be grateful and it means be gone. But the war can't continue. Boy! He's very intimidating. You escape with your life. That is your prize. What did you think? That you and I would negotiate? I thought you might listen. Kronos wants you to fight my father. He wants you both weakened. I will not be weakened by my brothers. You already are. Your family is a mess. They don't support you because they love you. They obey because they're afraid. He's doing Ares, it again. Your son. How afraid of you do you think they'll be when your dad shows up looking to put you back in your place? Hey, daddy's come to I save the day. Take your victory. Just spare my son. Your forbidden son, who should have never been born. Uh, says you. Same as your father. Yeah. Whose bravery still inspires all demigods to sell a sword of battle to Patros, Ares, Hades, Hermitim, or Pandas. Yeah, pretty much. I'll have Athena set a meeting. We'll declare my swift and crushing victory, and then discuss the family business. Make sure I never see this one again. We're only on season one, love. Oh, I can't wait to see them interact. Obedience doesn't come naturally to you, does it? No. I must take some of the blame, I suppose. The sea does not like to be restrained. Patros, it means father. Chiron has taught you well. I didn't learn it from Chiron. Oh, Sally's done Your very well. You Greek. Of course. She taught me a lot of things. Do you dream? Ares said gods don't dream. Ares is a moron. Perhaps you noticed. So there's still hope for me. Oh, that, that is what I'm getting. I could still be a demigod, right? Of course we dream. Why do you ask? Do you ever dream about mom? I'm sorry to, like, burst everyone's bubble but he's probably got loads of ladies and perhaps men perhaps you know sheep but that's a Zeus thing lined up there is more <laughs> sorry Percy you should be going <laughs> bye hi Thalia nice to see you again how are your squirrel friends It happened to me once. I went to a Lego opening just in the morning in the shops and they all started clapping as we all walked in. I didn't know, know that they did that and it really like spooked me. I was like, what's going on? Why is everyone clapping? Do you see her yet? Not make it too obvious. Why does she don't <laughs> say anything? Hi. Clarice stole the master bolt. It's complicated. How is it complicated? An accusation against Clarice. Without proof. It would have lit this whole place on fire. You stopped the war. You saved the world. Now it's safe to tell Chiron and finish cleaning up the mess. I told him we needed to meet him away from the celebration. I'll keep an eye on Clarice while you're gone. Ready? It's been a whole season. I'm ready. Let's go. Whoa. Talking about a celebration. Come on, you've said like two words since we left the cabins. Thinking about what the Oracle said. You're thinking about your mom. I get that. But prophecies? Things are so vague. The quest is over. And everything the Oracle said has either come true or makes sense. Up from one. You shall go west and face the god it was turned to. Ares. Find what was stolen and see it return. Clearly the bull. And you shall be betrayed by one who calls you a friend. Well, the reason Clarice is still here is because we never said anything to Chiron about. And Clarice ain't a friend. Did you? Because you knew that Clarice didn't steal the bolt. You did. You worked with Ares to plan it on me. So when the shoes you gave me pulled me down into Tartarus, the bolt be delivered right to Kronos. 
So how are we feeling? Did anyone suspect this was going to happen? They didn't read the books. I didn't think you'd give them the Grover to wear. You rat. Oh. I am your friend. None of this was meant to betray you. The gods are my enemy. I'm here to recruit. Easy. I don't want to fight. You liar. This is what I wanted to show you. This is our way out. Way out of what? Camp. That does look really cool. Backbiter can open secret doors. We can stay on the run as long as it takes. Stop saying we. Gods want us to fight for them, worship them, fear them. And they couldn't care less what we want. Bad parents, Percy. Yeah, but now we're turning into them. They got away with it for far too long. This is Kronos. He got to you. No, he opened my eyes to the truth. They're gonna help Kronos bring the Golden Age back. Stealing the bolt in the helm was easy. We're gonna need all the help we can get. Our parents aren't perfect, but they're trying their best. I met your dad. <laughs> That may have been the wrong thing to say. I'm just saying. You did get better. Last chance. Uh, uh, sorry. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Sucks for you, Luke, doesn't it? None of this is easy, saying goodbye. I may not be gone long. I just seem to see if Hades has returned her yet. And you're certain that you won't accept an armed escort? <laughs> I told you, I don't think Luke wants to kill me. I yeah. don't think he does either. He probably would have done it if he That's did. That's what scares me. When Luke explained why he planned to take down Olympus, part of it made sense to you, didn't it? Luke knows that you'd be a powerful ally to his cause and his master, Cronus. <laughs> he can be very, very persuasive. How yeah. do you know? But I'm very, very stubborn. You're more than a hero now. You have made me very proud. Oh, I love you, Caron. Great, you're still here. I was just leaving. Thank you. No, thank you, Percy. Wait, Percy? Yes. No, I mean, that's your name? Are you sure? Oh. I'm 90 percent sure. Percy. I don't think so. <laughs> Pretty sure I know my own name. Eh, you know what? I don't actually care. Okay. Oh my God. For those of you who are not staying for the full term, get out! <laughs> you get out. Pack your bags. You're going home. You know, I would love him as a director. Part of my little camp that I've never been to. How does she feel about all of this? You going home to see your dad? It's a tree seaweed brain. It doesn't express opinions, but I imagine she's through. And how do you feel about it? He wants to show me New York City first, so I'm going to pretend I haven't been there. And then some place called Disney World, which kind of sounds like Waterland, but less determined to kill you. Oh, of course, Disney had to put that in there. Why wouldn't they? <laughs> guys, guys, you got it? Where is it? His searcher's license. Oh, is that your searcher's license? Yeah. Officially authorized to begin the quest for Pan. Yay! Where are you going to start? Well, it seems like every inch in the natural world has been checked, noted, and footnoted. No one's ever bothered to check the seas. Very good friends to help you with that. Let's make a pact. No matter what happens, we meet back here next year. Agreed. All of us. And me. Back here. Yes, I put my hand in too. Is that all the sweetest, aren't they? Cute little bunch. Sally, where are you? Percy? <gasps> I'm suspicious. Would Hades have really let her go like that? It's a long story. It's time to wake up. I knew it. Are you serious? We're still doing this? I won. Get out of my dreams already. Oh, oh. soon enough we'll meet in full world. 
If you can survive, what's next? Well, it turns out I'm pretty good at this. I mean, he's not lying. Serious? Come find me. That is my hope. No kidding, kiddo. Time to wake up. Is this the real her? I don't want to get my hopes up. Do you have another nightmare? Grandpa. Uh, don't call him that. <laughs> no. What did he say this time? Don't forget to tell your mom how much you love her today. Kronos, Lord of the Titans, said that. Apparently so. <laughs> the stories you heard about Greek gods, heroes, and monsters. Blue pancakes! Blue I'm here to tell you they're real. If you ever feel like you don't fit, like the world doesn't make sense, then you might be a part of our world. So don't give up, because we might need you for the fight ahead. I am here to serve. Aww. You call yourself a lawyer? This is outrageous. My wife is divorcing me, and on top yes. of that, I gotta pay you too. You're kidding me? She changed the locks. Yes, now, what am I sadly. To do? Oh, that's that's how they do it. Turn to send her. That's Medusa's head. Jackson. Oh dear. Well, that is gross. Oh dear. So that was the last episode of season one of Percy Jackson. I absolutely loved this whole series, this season, and that episode. I just think there are little bits, of course, that people can be annoyed about, but me, like personally, I think everything they've done, some of the changes they've made, I think have been for the better. And this has just been such a good series. Of course, I still think everyone is obviously valid to have their own opinions about this series. I'm so, so excited for season two. I'm nearly finishing up rereading the first book. So as soon as I'm done with rereading that, then I can jump straight into the second book. Yeah, I could, I could give myself basically a spoiler again of what's going to happen, even though I kind of already know, but it's been such a long time that I just, I don't I think we all know by now how really horrible my memory is. Thank you so much if you've watched every single episode of the season one reaction series. I have had such a fun time doing this and I'll probably most likely definitely be doing it for season two and all the other seasons to come if I can, hopefully. And apart from that, don't forget to check out my other videos and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.